right, folks. I'm still saying no, 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 no. Okay, who cares about this? No, we just care about did we stick our finger down his throat? Okay, yep, we're sticking our finger down your throat. How did you, why did you just stand there? Why did you stand there, Gloria? You could have easily have just stuck your finger down his throat. Come on. I don't even deal with drugs, and I've watched CSI back in the day that that's how you get it done. Yeah. Again, stick your finger down his throat. He took pills. They take a long time to get into the system. It usually takes 15 to 20 minutes. So even if he took the pills, doesn't necessarily mean he's out. You put your finger down his throat, you make sure that he vomits all of those pills up, at least some of them, and then you take him to the hospital. You don't just let him just take like 40 pills and then just swallow them and then take him to the hospital. You're there. Finger down his throat, let him throw up some of it. Golly, man. I've never even done this, and I've watched enough criminal shows to know that that's what you do and you guys are in law enforcement it's idiots great now it's another DuPont situation you gotta be kidding me oh my gosh I blame you guys I blame you guys because if I had control over this he wouldn't be in this situation. I mean, anyways. Yeah, I don't. Thank you. Thank you, Amir. Yes, thank you. The doctor. Yeah, okay, Fluent. Yeah. Me alone with Fluent. Oh, fuck. Screw, screw LaRose stuff. Who cares about that, right? care about her superpowers who cares about her superpowers yes yeah, reminds me of season one when he had the when he had the cookies or the I can't remember if they were cookies or they were like brownies or something but Yeah, if you're if you're on, if you want to upload chapter one or, or at least get that started, I'll, I'll I'll do the rest once I'm done streaming. But this is gonna be a good case to get out ASAP. This cupcake, that's right. Yeah, I don't even really want to read this stuff because it's like, yeah, I know what to do. Let's just get through it. Like, let's not even mess around with this. You guys all talking me to death. It's like, no, we don't need to talk to death. We just need to get this stuff done. Exactly what we're looking for. Let's rush the bottle to a mirror. Just what I need. I've synthesized an antidote. Let's get back to the hospital. And it wasn't a moment too soon, of course. With a bit of rest, he'll make a full recovery. Yeah, his mental state is very fragile. Huh. Yeah. He was up. All the medicine in the world will save him. Maybe you should try talking to Mace. Yeah. Let me smack him around a little bit. Let me smack Jones around a little bit. Get, get Ramirez. Have him take his frying pan, and I'm just going to smack Jones across the face multiple times. Idiot. Why don't you ace and start? Yeah. Jones, this is the second time you put me through this crap. Okay? Get smarter, okay? You were living before Zoe. You will live after Zoe. 
and she was in a horrible state of mind. So, again, you can we can read her diary, but she was struggling with a lot. Okay, it had nothing to do with you. Shucks, I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to handle this. Lars is a way worse situation. I mean, he married someone that he was with for a long time, he had multiple kids with, and she was just nuts and, and traitorous. Zoe, we knew about this basically within the first couple months of them dating. I've heard about Detective Jones' conditions in Mary Jane's. How can I help? His emotional state is fragile. With Zoe gone, Jones doesn't see any reason to go on. I think I have an idea. During her treatment, I encourage Zoe to write letters to Detective Jones, not to send, but rather to articulate her feelings. Reading Zoe's innermost thoughts might restore Detective Jones' will to live. All right, there we go. There we go. Good job. <laughs> Jones, it's like, come on. All right, Russo, yeah. Russo, you're, you're in my corner a little bit. Good thing Jones doesn't have me. I'd be smacking him around a bit right now. Look like a letter A. Some smell of the letters Zoe wrote. We may be in luck. Let's put these pieces back together. Yeah, Louis, I thought you'd have better reasoning too. That was pretty lame. So by me through everything that's happened, which has meant the world to me. I don't know what the future holds for me, whether I'll be better and go back to my own mind, but my only hope is that you, Dave, remember all the happy days we had before uh, everything, before all this happened. Whatever happens, promise me you'll live the happy life cherishing our memories forever. There we go. That's what you need. That's what you need. There's the tearjerker. There's the tearjerker. Oh, they didn't even read the whole letter. I'm glad I read the whole letter because that was a good letter. Hey, please go away. I don't get along. Yeah, but you'll want to read it. It's a lower letter from Zoe. She really loved you. I know you can't imagine life without her now, but she would have wanted you to try and be happy. She doesn't disappoint her. Thank you, Ace, for saving my life, for everything all, all these years. You've been a friend for so long, you've never let me down. I know it's not much, but take this as a token of my gratitude. Don't worry, Jones. I got your back. Dear James, what have I done? I killed one of my dearest friends. What? The pursuit of truth? I we're not interested in your guilty conscience or empty or most road. If it was up to me, we wouldn't even be standing here. I just know everything you know about Zoe's alleged abilities. I know it's hard to believe secret agent, agent Ace, but just like the police officers, journalists will work only with facts and I have proof. For us to Zoe moving things with her mind, I knew we needed to record evidence of it. I couldn't do it openly because she was afraid of anyone finding out, so I hid a camera in her room. You did what? I wasn't to invade her privacy to I just need proof of what I'd seen. I'll believe there's proof when I see it. We might as well take this here, Agent Ace. I won't be needing it anymore. <laughs> a microphone necklace. Looks like he's straight up gangsta. Yeah, it sure as heck seems like that's pretty shady to have a camera in someone's bedroom. The 
that's a good point uh, for there is a camera in the room but maybe that's just for the scene it's not actually like oh we can put it on our framed photo interesting where are these during this It's just wild because she's. I don't see the rose in the camera anywhere. Oh, there is a lens in the picture frame. There's a keypad on the back. I'll leave decrypting the camera's pass for DUAs. All right. What do we got here? Espionage. Nice. I like that. I got that one. Espionage. You can unlock movies. There have been camera A's. All we have to do is press play and see what's recorded. It feels like a breach of privacy, but you're right. At least we know the truth about Let's try to watch the recording. Three o'clock already. Time for a cup of tea. Oh my god, it's happening again. What's wrong with me? I don't know what to say. Did you see that? Laura was telling me the truth. It's so we could move objects with our mind. Well, we can't proceed with that origin, Chief. Let's brief her on what we've discovered. You see, the recording you found is always levitating objects. Now I'm speechless the face. So are we. Leroy's actions were despicable, but he wasn't lying about Zoe's abilities. Leroy wanted Zoe to undergo a test to determine what caused these powers, but Zoe was understandably reluctant. So her question remains, were Zoe's abilities part of Ad Astra's development of a human resilient serum? I hate to say his age, but there's only one solution. Martine should autopsy Zoe's body again. Oh snap, we got an autopsy here again. 18 hours? Oh, F you. Pretty simple. That's a lot of cash to go through. Oh, for the love of Pete, that's such BS. That's such BS. 18 hours. That is such a fucking joke. There's no way. There's no way. I'm. I'm. Yeah. They. They've lost me. I'm not. I'm not giving them any more money. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. How much money is that for me? It's like three fifty. Three dollars and fifty cents. So this whole AI is going to cost me like eight to ten bucks. Flippin' joke. No, I'll do it, but because I have the cash, I gotta use it. But that's such a joke. I'm not. I'm not doing this after this season. This will be my last season. Ace. My autopsies are normally about examining traces of a crime, analyzing the victim, finding evidence, tell kinetic ability. Where do you start? We're definitely now getting unknown territory. Did you find anything at all? What? Well, Focus my examination on her brain. I did find a number of anomalies in the occipital lobe. So the lobe is an area of the brain. So there's always shown signs of hyperstimulation, something that can't be explained by natural causes. But this anomaly have been caused by dreamlike experiments with prosane? Absolutely not. Prosane affects a different brain area, and it inhibits activity, not stimulates it. But I found evidence that Zoe's occipital lobe was exposed to another substance, a different derivative of Brazilian. Ah, the superhuman serum, just like we thought. Exactly. You should show my autopsy report to Jasper and Mir. It could help them understand how the serum works. When Mir is monitoring Zona's condition at the hospital, so let's brief Jasper on our findings. Ooh, but I don't know if Jasper is on our side. Oh. Prior to that, your colleague, a such tragic philosopher Jones. We appreciate that, Jasper. Now, have you re reviewed Martine's autopsy report and the mutations in Zoe's brain and her strange kinetic abilities? 
Yes, thank you. The Zoe's mutations are fascinating. It's all the more sense that it's very, very clearly not what Dr. Hoover and his team intended with their human enhancement serum. The documents you found in the dome were very clear. The serum was supposed to increase human resilience. Zoe's powers were an unintended side effect. Our research into Ad Astra serum is just beginning AIDS. This autopsy report will help a great deal in working out how it actually works. Roll a coaster a day, man. You and me both. Well, in ter physical terms, Chief, his emotional recovery will be a long and painful process. Yes, Jones will need some way time away from the apartment to grieve and heal. The best thing all of us can do is be there through this tough time. Meanwhile, although we never got a chance to ask Zoe what she knew about the Human Enhancement Project, we've learned a great deal. Our tests have confirmed that Zoe was injected with that Astra and Superhuman Serum. Except the telekinetic abilities she developed were not the intended effects. The serum was created to increase human resilience, not create mutations. Jasper and Amir will continue to analyze Dr. Hoover's research. There are still so many un unanswered questions. Well, he claims he told us everything he knows about Zoe's abilities, but what if he isn't telling the whole truth? I agree, Ace. Laura was reporting. He's helping on going after the truth. It's possible he can cover more than he's willing to share with us. Washington serves opposite the TV station. He's the best lead we got. Oh, snap. And that's going to lead us to the next one. Now we got to see. we got to take a look at who potentially is the next victim. Oh. Oh, interesting. Looks like a female. I'm not sure I recognize her. Yep, we're going to CC and, and we're going to them next Thursday. See you guys then. It's been Pitching AC8. Over and out.